Our teenagers are turning their backs on careers in engineering, so a nationwide campaign has been launched to convince students that not all engineers are bearded men who wear socks with open-toed sandals. A bit harsh, that, I think, don't <laughs> A bit of a stereotype, perhaps. Well, a roadshow is touring schools in the south. It's giving pupils the chance to see a rocket that could soon carry a person into space. And the event blasted off at Thiel in Berkshire, as Rachel Harries reports. It's not every day a giant rocket lands on your doorstep, so when Nova arrived at Thiel Green Community School, it caused a bit of a stir. It's the latest brainchild of Steve Bennett, who's been building rockets for 10 years now. He's teamed up with a design software company for a school roadshow, hoping to encourage youngsters to take up engineering. I just think that this is just showing what can actually, you know, come out being an engineer. And I think some people actually have got more interested in it from seeing this today. A lot of people think of engineering as just maths and a lot of studying and really not anything very interesting. But um, for like making spaceships and that kind of thing, it's, it's a little more interesting, yeah. When Steve Bennett successfully launched Nova a mile high above the skies of Morecambe Bay last year, he showed that dreams can become a reality. His rocket was designed on the same computer software that a million school children use in design and technology classes every day. And engineering isn't about grey coats and getting dirty and oily. You know, it actually is about designing things like this you know, using modern day software. So hopefully we hope this will encourage more to go into that field. Steve Bennett is determined to put a man in space one day and this rocket is a prototype for one that will do just that. Thunderbird is still in the making, but when completed it'll be twice the size of Nova. And that person who's going to take part in the test flight is Steve Bennett himself. Space tourism is going to be worth something like $10 billion by the end of the decade, by 2010. Uh, it's just around the corner. Um, what we've got to do is to prove that we can launch people into, into space safely, cheaply, reliably. The Star Chaser team are now planning to win a $10 million cash prize to become the first non-governmental organization to fly three people into space and safely back down again. Their aim is to complete the challenge in October 2004. And Bennett is determined to win. It seems that for him and the next generation of rocket scientists, the sky's the limit. Rachel Harry's in Feel for Meridian tonight.